chocolate Swiss meringue buttercream. This frosting is unbelievably smooth, rich, fudgy, and creamy. It's really easy to frost with, and it has the perfect amount of sweetness. I actually prefer it way more than American buttercream, but it's a little bit trickier to make, so be sure to watch this video all the way to the end to learn how to make it. My name is Tessa and I'm from HandleTheHeat.com where I love to share sweet treats with a sprinkling of baking science and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more baking videos every single week. So to get started with this buttercream, we're actually going to bring a double boiler, a little bit of water to a simmer, and then we're going to add in our ingredients. So over the double boiler, you're going to add four large egg whites. You wanna make sure that your double boiler bowl is really clean with no other grease or debris in it. To the egg whites, you're going to add two thirds cup of granulated sugar. Next up, just a quarter teaspoon of fine salt. And you wanna give this a whisk and continue whisking it as it cooks over medium heat until the sugar is dissolved and the mixture is slightly thickened and uh, instant read thermometer registers 150 degrees. This will take just two to three minutes, so be sure not to walk away and keep whisking it the entire time. All right, so we're gonna take that egg white mixture while it's still hot and pour it into the bowl of your stand mixer. Now this recipe is definitely best done with a stand mixer because it's going to need to beat for quite a while. So then you just attach the whisk attachment and then be on medium high speed for about two to three minutes or until it's nice and thick. Okay, my egg white mixture looks ready. It's white and thickened and I can touch the bowl and it doesn't feel hot anymore. So next up I'm going to be adding three sticks of unsalted butter that's at room temperature. I'm going to add it gradually as the mixer is running until it's all incorporated. Okay, so I've incorporated all of my butter, but as you can see, the mixture looks a little curdled. If this happens to you, don't panic. This can happen if your butter is maybe a little too warm, if your kitchen is warm, which living in Phoenix where I am, it's always a little bit warm. If this happens to you, you can typically just keep beating the mixture. It might be better to beat it with the blade attachment instead of the whisk attachment. Just keep beating this mixture until it smooths out and it no longer looks clumped or curdled. If the mixture still isn't smoothing out, you can actually pop your mixer bowl into the fridge for about 10 to 15 minutes to chill up the butter and make it a little bit more firm and then it should blend out beautifully. Okay, so you can see that the mixture smoothed out completely, no lumps or curdles anymore. So now it's ready for the chocolate. So I've actually already melted down 12 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate. There's a lot of chocolate in this recipe. You could use milk chocolate or dark chocolate if you'd prefer, but I find semi-sweet is just the perfect amount of chocolatey goodness. So I've melted it and it's cooled, so I'm just going to pour it right on into this mixture. And then add a splash of vanilla extract. And then mix this up until it's all combined. Just going to scrape down the sides of the bowl to make sure all of the butter is getting incorporated and it's perfectly smooth. Okay, it smells so good over here. As you can see, this buttercream is super smooth and creamy and shiny, and it's actually really easy to decorate a cake with. And you can make it ahead of time. I'll go ahead and leave those directions on how to make this chocolate Swiss meringue buttercream ahead of time down below. Okay, so there you have it, chocolate Swiss meringue buttercream. It's not quite as complicated as you might have thought. It's definitely worth the extra effort because it's oh so smooth and creamy and just not as sweet as American buttercream, which I personally prefer. 
This recipe actually makes enough frosting to frost an entire two layer eight inch cake or 24 cupcakes. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in another new video soon.